would like to say. Um, yeah, so I might start down here on my right with a member of the Georgian delegation, I believe. Thank you, Samantha. It's the Georgian Youth Delegate to the United Nations speaking. Uh, first of all, thank, uh, I would like to thank the panelists for very thought-provoking statements that ha they have delivered. And then, of course, Samantha and Colm for go giving me the opportunity to very briefly comment on the topic of media propaganda, because I think it's very relevant when we talk about the influence of media and on society and misinformation. Um, and uh, yeah, the line between media news and propaganda is not always very clear. And then after, and, and then of course also between media propaganda and public diplomacy. But one thing is obvious that media uh, is becoming more and more powerful in that it does not only reflect um, the state of affairs, but also shapes it. And that sometimes uh, media can be a soft power as hard or even harder than the hard power actually deployed. And here I am speaking about the battlefield, uh, media as a battlefield, because along air, land, sea, and space, we've seen mind also develop as a battlefield. And the, the idea of, of course, information warfare is not something new, and it's been, I mean, I'm, I'm Georgian myself, so, and I, I, I'm, as an example, I can say that it has worked at all levels in the Soviet society. And uh, youth and children have always been the targets of it. And as an example, I can mention the pioneer and Komsomol Kums movements, for example. But the intensity with which it is applied now and that it works at all dimensions of the battlefields that I have mentioned before, um, I mean, and it's been, it, it's relatively new and it has been very successful, for example, in Georgia, in Ukraine, and um, Moldova, for example, and the media can change facts and media can stage facts. Um, and th that's f for that, I think that the media literacy needs to be improved for that young people can actually distinguish media propaganda from media news. And here I see that you have emphasized like two SDGs, which are quality education and partnership for the goals. But I also believe that it's very much in line with the SDG 16s, which is the peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development. Because maybe media literacy is not, um, is not explicitly stated in SDGs, but I think it, it's very important for building the capacity of use to the critical thinking, actually, so that they could counteract this radicalization and the hate speech and also harmful propaganda. Thank you. Gentlemen there at the back. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Usman, and I'm from the Pakistan Mission. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank the Irish Mission for holding this constructive debate on media. Um, my question is to uh, Mr. Manson.